Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It is a word. The suddenlies are here. We shall see things speeded up and they shall happen suddenly. News shall come suddenly. Unexpected things suddenly. There are those who, after waiting for this eclipse, they thought to be able to prognosticate. They thought, they thought to be able to cause fear because they thought that they knew the day and the hour. But one of the things they did not consider is the sudden leaves. The judgment has gone out against Babylon, against the destroyers of nations, as well as the destroyers of the earth. Their time has come. And many things that you will witness will happen Suddenly, one of the words we are in the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it ariseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. The suddenlies are upon the nations, beloved. Suddenly, whether it be through disease that falls in a kingdom, a kingdom whose history is filled with wickedness suddenly is upon them. And they took one princess and tried to hold her against another, their prognosticators, their enchanters, their sorcerers. They spoke evil of one princess because the blood of Judah ran in her veins. But you see, the one that they held up suddenly is upon her, suddenly is in that kingdom, and it shall be no recovery, beloved. There shall be no recovery. The suddenlies are there. Although the media will try and try as they may, there shall be no recovery from the sudden leaves. No recovery, beloved. Many men think they know the day. They think they know the hour. They've even got movies out trying to determine civil war and being vague and yet trying to uh, narrate, if you will. We are dealing in the sudden leaves of the Most High. His glory he shall not give to another. No, he shall not. And as we see these kingdoms falling, as we see these kingdoms all across the globe being removed from their colonies, we see the sudden leaves breaking out all over the world. We see it with Floods, we see it with fires, we see it with wars. The sudden leaves are here, and they are here to tear down the roots and the foundations of Babylon. We are in the midst of sudden leaves, beloved. And we, we are supposed to stand as a light to the world and ourselves asking Yah to forgive our sins and all those who believe to give themselves over to Yahuwah, his law, statutes, and commands. And you see, there are some who think with their sorceries and their enchantments that they can say, I'm sorry and I apologize and that they shall be 
forgiven, not recognizing there is a law of reciprocity. It is a spiritual law that the sowing and the reaping law, even when a person goes to court for evil crime and they show remorse, that does not change the sentence. But you see, these people want to believe that if we cry our crocodile tears, if we tell you how sorry we are, Although we still oppress, although we still imprison, although we still keep all those things that we have stolen, although there is no reparation, they don't understand that the, the judgment has come down and it shall catch them suddenly, beloved, and there shall be no recovery. There shall be no recovery they have taken glory in their wickedness. They have glorified their wickedness as though it were a God. And the true Yahuwah of all Yahuwahs, the Elohim, our Adonai, has pronounced judgment and suddenly shall break out. Yes, yes, yes. No man knows the day. No man knows the hour. But. Watch, watch, beloved, because the sudden leaves are here. The sudden leaves. There is no apology that can remove the wickedness with a crooked heart and a forked tongue, believing that if I say I'm sorry and my eyes drip tears, I can go home and be as I always was, and you'll know I'm sorry. No, no, no. The judgment has come down. Have they remorse? If you do, just like in a court of law, make your statement. But the judgment and the sentence and that double portion. Many people wonder, what is that double portion? You see, when you look at what happened to Yasharet, when you take into account Deuteronomy 28, when you look at what was done worldwide, you take that and every idiosyncrasy of it and double it and double it. At a future time, we shall speak about the double portion, beloved. But right now, we are seeing and in the midst of the suddenly, suddenly, beloved. They are being cast down, sinking to rise no more. And there is no enchantment, no sorcery, nothing, no prognostication, no media lie they can tell that will save them from the sudden leaves. And just to finish, it is Babylon and Asia that the judgment has come down upon. Babylon and Asia. The world thought to get rich from Yasharel without mercy or truth on who Yasharel was or whom Yasharel belonged to. They didn't even honor the law of life itself. The sudden leaves are upon us, beloved. And those of us who belong to Yah, knowing that only one third is going through, going to make it through that wilderness. Two thirds, just like in the time of the first Exodus, when some who went into the wilderness, they never made it out. They went 40 years in the wilderness and they never made it out. Their children made it out. Joshua and Caleb made it out. But there were those who never made it out of the wilderness. These are those that were of the house of Yasharel. And when Yasharel goes into the wilderness, just like Yah had pleaded with us in the first wilderness, he pleads yet again in the second. Two thirds will not make it out. One third will. May you be amongst that one-third, beloved. May those in your household make it out. 
May we give glory, honor, praise now and forevermore. Exalted be the name of Yahuwah our Adonai, now and forevermore. Father, we dedicate ourselves to you. Forgive us our sins that testify against us. And let us leave those things that so easily beset us, those sins that weigh us down. Let us leave them behind as we look forward to the mark of the high calling. Gather us together. Let thy mercy be upon us. It is for your holy name that you come, Father. For your holy name shall not be polluted. And we are your servants. You have chosen Jacob, Yasharel, as thine own. Let us make it into and through the wilderness until we come home to you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, thy glorious word of life and thy Holy Spirit indwelling within us, Father, we glorify you this day, this Shabbat, now and forevermore. Let us live through the suddenlies, and may we glorify you as we learn of you and follow you. Amen. It is word, beloved. Shabbat Shalom.